Sambiri is a Latin term meaning ten men, which designates any such commission in the Roman Republic. Different types of decemvirate include the writing of laws with consular imperium, the judging of litigation, the making of sacrifices, and the distribution of public lands. Decemviri legibus scribundis consulara imperia. In 452 BC the plebeians and patricians of Rome agreed to the appointment of a commission of ten men to write up a code of law defining the principles of Roman administration during the Decemviri's term in office. All other magistracies would be suspended, and the decisions were not subject to appeal. The first set of decemviri, composed entirely of patricians, assumed office in 451 BC, and was led by Appius Claudius Crassus and Titus Genutius Augurinus, who were consuls for that year. Each decemvir administered the government for one day in turn and whichever decemvir presided on any given day was preceded by the twelve lictors bearing the fasces. None of the other decemviri received any protection from the lictors. Their administration of justice was exemplary and they submitted to the Comitia Centuriata a code of laws in ten headings, which was passed. The success of the decemvirate prompted the appointment of a second college of decemviri for 450 BC. This second set added two more headings to their predecessors' ten, completing the law of the Twelve Tables, which formed the centerpiece of the Roman constitutions for the next several centuries. Nevertheless, this decemvirate's rule became increasingly violent and tyrannical. Each decemvir was attended by twelve lictors who carried the fasces with axes even within the city. When the decemvirate's term of office expired, the decemviri refused to leave office or permit successes to take office. Appius Claudius is said to have made an unjust decision which would have forced a young woman named Virginia into prostitution or as Appius a personal slave, prompting her father to kill her, and this travesty caused an uprising against the decemvirate. The decemviri resigned their offices in 449 BC, and the ordinary magistrates were reinstituted. Decemviri legibus scribundis consulara imperia. Appius Claudius Crassus, consul. Titus Genutius Augurinus, consul. Titus Veturius Crassus Sicurinus. Gaius Lulius Iellus. Aulus Manlius Vulsa. Servius Sulpicius Camerinus Cornutus. Publius Cestius Capito Vaticanus. Publius Curiatius Fistus Trigeminus. Titus Romilius Rocus Vaticanus, Spurius Postumius Albus Regilenesis, Decemviri Legibus Scribundis Consulara Imperia, Appius Claudius Decemvir, Marcus Cornelius Maluginensis, Marcus Sergius Escalinus, Lucius Minutius Escalinus Augurinus, Quintus Fabius Viberlanus, Quintus Poetelius Libo Visolis, Titus Antonius Morenda, Ciso Dulius Longus, Spurius Oppius Cornusen, Manius Rabulius, Decemviri Latibus Iludicandus. This type of decemvirate was a civil court of ancient origin mainly concerned with questions bearing on the status of individuals. It originally served as a jury rendering verdict under the presidency of the praetor, but these decemviri subsequently became annual minor magistrates of the Republic, elected by the Comitia Populi Tributa and forming part of the Vigenti Secviri. Suetonius and Dio Cassius record that during the Principate, Caesar Augustus transferred to the decemviri the presidency in the courts of the Centumviri. Under imperial law, the decemvirate had jurisdiction in capital cases. Decemviri sacris facian dis. This type of decemvirate had religious functions and was the outcome of the claim of the plebs to equal share in the administration of the state, religion. They were first appointed in 367 BC in lieu of the patrician decemviri who had had responsibility for the care and consultation of the Sibyllina, books and the celebration of the games of Apollo. Membership in this ecclesiastical college was for life, and the college was increased to a quindecemvirate, that is, a college of 15 members, and renamed accordingly in the last century of the Republic. 
possibly by the dictator Lucius Cornelius Sulla, the dictator Gaius Julius Caesar added a 16th member, but this precedent was not followed. Decemviri agristandis ad signandis. This type of decemvirate was appointed from time to time to control the distribution of public lands.